To use Loop Deck with any software outside our native plugins, navigate to the Profile drop-down section. Click on the three dots next to the Application Profile and select Add Application. Here you can browse or search for applications. In this tutorial, we're using Google Chrome as an example. Give the new profile a name, add a description if you like, and click OK. Now you can see the newly created profile among your other application profiles. Let's clear out the two default actions so that we have an empty profile to start with. You can also click on Manage Plugins to choose which universal plugin actions you want to have visible for this profile. At this point, let's go ahead and find all the keyboard shortcuts available in Google Chrome. Now we can start creating custom actions. Let's start with the keyboard shortcut to open the Find bar in Chrome. Click on any empty touchscreen button and select Shortcut. Give the action a name, record your shortcut and click Create. You can also add a custom icon from your computer or choose one from the existing icon library. Here you can search for a relevant icon. You can also change the size and the rotation of the icon. Let's create a second custom action that takes us to YouTube. If you don't want to assign an action to a button right away, you can create it here in the Custom Actions section. Select Web Page, give the action a name, and type in the URL of the website. Let's add a nice visual icon for the action from our files. Now let's create a custom adjustment for a dial so we can use it to zoom in and out. Give the adjustment a name and your desired actions for the counterclockwise and clockwise rotations. Control minus is the shortcut for zooming out and Control plus for zooming in. Click Save and add an icon if you want. Let's go for a magnifying glass for this one. I also want to press the dial to return to the default zoom level. So let's create another custom action and call it Reset Zoom. Control 0 is the shortcut for resetting the zoom to default level. If you want to learn more about custom actions, we have a separate video available. Now you can start assigning the actions you created to the buttons and dials on the console. Let's assign the zoom custom adjustment and the Reset Zoom custom action to the same dial. Now we can rotate the dial to zoom in or out and press it to reset the view. For easier access, you can create groups for your custom actions and adjustments. Here you can rename the group. Let's call this one View. To organize the actions on your console, you can create additional workspaces, touchscreen pages and dial pages and link them into buttons. You can learn more about organizing your console in another video. Now you can continue creating as many custom actions as you want. Organize them in the software and assign them on the console. There are useful desktop actions available for all profiles, which can be used individually or as macros. In the end, your profile might look something like this. You can, for example, scroll through the page, add tabs, cycle through them, close them, take screenshots, control your music, and much more. I've also created a second page for the websites I use the most. On our website, you can find ready-made profiles for several popular applications, which you can use as a base and customize to your liking. You can find the link in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.